What's up, guys? Tyler Casey here, and I am back with the Wolf Talk podcast. It has been a minute since I've done one. I think it was all the way back in March when I did the last one. We have Andy Chin back on. If you guys haven't been following me or Andy or Cinepax, we have been really busy knocking out all these digital products. So my podcast has kind of been on the back burner, but I do have plans for it in 2020. And I kind of wanted to do just like a little update video for you guys with Andy. We're going to talk about Cinepax. We're going to talk about what we've been up to. We're going to answer questions that you guys sent us. And yeah, we're just going to talk about what we have in the works. we got a bunch of cool things in the works. Yeah. And talk a little bit about the podcast. Uh, what's in the future with that? What's up, Andy? How you doing? Pretty good. Not Pretty bad. good. Yeah, um, you yeah, you're in the Bay Area right now. Yep. You currently moved to... Uh, LA you've been bouncing it seems like every other week you're either in LA or you're in the bay yeah it's pretty it's, funny yeah um yeah I moved about like a month two months ago and I'm so I still have more work over here <laughs> so it's like yeah I'm still like, I don't know I feel like often I feel like the first like what month was it it was like maybe a month or two ago like it was like the month after you moved out there yeah it seems like you were really busy though it seems the, like you yeah the first month I literally worked zero days like i did not make any money so i was like and i was like near the end of the month i'm like yeah. what the fuck am i doing out here like so i hit up a bunch of people and then i just like kind of volunteered That's myself sick. onto sets and stuff so what did what did that feel like when you're like it felt kind of shitty because yeah. like <laughs> yeah i mean it was probably cool that you we had cinepax going as well so you didn't feel like yeah. as shitty so that was paying my rent <laughs> yeah I, I didn't funny. um yeah it felt kind of kind of shitty but but as soon as i kind of got myself onto sets and just met a bunch of people yeah from there it kind of just blew up like the next the next month i was just working a bunch but it wasn't but i feel like the rates out there are way less mm -hmm. so i have to work way more to make the same amount mm. so yeah i mean I, I still come back here a lot to just yeah to work and stuff cool yeah. i mean there's obviously we'll we'll get into that because i think people like feel the same way and i feel like that's a big question that a lot of people have like uh especially in the bay area they're like oh i want to go down to la because i have all these resources and whatnot but there's also a downside to that because like you were telling me there's so many people with expensive cameras and it's just insane because like you were saying your rate is um with your camera you have a red uh dragon uh the scarlet w the yeah. scarlet the w sensor, yeah. and there's people who charge the exact same but they also have the ak like heliums yeah. and whatnot or the gemini is like the newest kind of like the yeah. popular one right now a lot of people have that but also even like area lexus yeah. and stuff which is like freaking way more like mm -hmm. next budget like way higher um cameras like they're just they're charging the same amount yeah it's kind of ridiculous so it's like it's, it's hard to compete out there, especially yeah. if, if you're trying to shoot. Yeah. If you're trying to shoot. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, so what kind of made you, uh, what were some of the decisions between like moving out there? Like what kind of pushed you to do that? Um, I was, I was working, I like the months prior to moving out there, like the, the year before, I guess I was going out there like every, like twice a month to shoot. So uh -huh. I was getting like flown out or people would hire me to, drive down there to shoot like music videos at least twice a month though it was already i was already spending a lot of time out there so i thought yeah. i would like once i go down there i'd be like good to mm -hmm. like work on more um i just i feel i felt like i had a, i would have a steady kind of like flow on um yeah jobs and stuff but it that wasn't the case <laughs> gotcha i mean does it feel more steady now or do you still feel like i you... still feel like it's 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 kind of like hit or miss like Gotcha. Yeah. I'm sure it's still nice like having like a place to stay though because you were able to just go down there and make all those connections and knock stuff out. Yeah. Which I'm sure is pretty cool. But um, yeah, that's interesting. Yeah. So um, that's what advice like if someone was like planning on moving down there like from the Bay Area, would you recommend it for them or what would you recommend them to do? Like make sure they're down there like kind of doing what you were doing before, like maybe just making little trips down there or – what, what kind of advice would you have just so like they don't feel the way you did when you first moved out <laughs> shit, and then just know. like shit. I feel like that's just a part of it though. You yeah. know, like I feel like there's no way to avoid that unless you, you go down there with a job or like with something that's going to be stable, I guess. But yeah. just in general, this type of work isn't the most stable, you know? Yeah, exactly. So, um, But I mean, yeah, just making the most connections and having like a network out there would help a lot. Mm-hmm. 
Uh, but regardless, like, I feel like it's just going to be how there's just so much competition out there. So it's going to be hard to just like, it, yeah, it's going to be a struggle. Like, yeah. regardless. So. so when you moved, um, so like when you started hitting people up, you were just working for free, right? Or just going and helping on sets or the first, what were you yeah, doing? The first month I was just like, I just wasn't working. So I was like, fuck, what do I do? Like, might as well go out and do something. So yeah. I hit up, um, I had up a bunch of people through like some, some friends. I hung out with some bunch of friends. And then they're like, oh, hit up this guy, hit up that guy. Mm -hmm. So I just sent him out a bunch of DMs and stuff. And then one of my friends, he actually, um, they were looking for PAs on this like feature film. And I was like, all right, fuck it, I'm just going to get on that. Yeah. Um, so I worked a couple of days on on this feature. I met, met a bunch of cool people um, who actually brought me back onto other shoots like the next, la yeah, later yeah. on. Um, and then I hit up, um, I think it was da Damien actually got me on a couple, okay, yeah. couple of his shoots. Yeah, I saw you on like multiple Damien shoots yeah. back to back. So the first, yeah, the first two, I was just kind of like, kind of volunteered. And then, uh, but his DP, Toby, like I've worked with him a bunch before. Yeah. Uh, back when I was going to LA a lot. And also uh, over in, they came over here to shoot stuff. Mm -hmm. So I've worked with him a bunch. And he was like, oh, what the hell? Like you should just hit me up and tell me yeah. that you're in LA. I would have brought you on a bunch of shoots. So then he, he actually just, after that, he just brought me on a bunch of paid gigs after that. So that he, he got me. So after hitting up all those people and like doing free work for them and whatnot, I'm sure you probably created like a lot more connections and like, I don't know, got like a little more busier. Um, is that yeah. what you felt like after that? Or? Yeah, definitely. That actually just working on, um, I think it was like three days on the feature and like two days on the Damien shoot. Like it was just, it was just like five days um, that I did for free. And through that, I met so many people and then like, they literally was like, Hey, I need a gaffer for this shoot. Yeah. Like next month I need like someone to do this for that. And like, and yeah, they just got me after that. It was just like, it was just constantly busy yeah. the next month. Um, but I feel like it's all like attitude though, you know, like, and okay. also like kind of, um, like you have to, like, you can't just go to sets and like, like kind of half ass shit and expect people to bring you back, you know? Mm -hmm. So you have to kind of have a good attitude and like, Hustle. And like get people to like you, I guess that's yeah. like the trick. Yeah, I feel like because like a lot, so I feel like a lot of people don't even care about skill level as long mm -hmm. as you're like show that you're like passionate and you're also like like you're willing to do the work. Yeah, um, that's the case. I feel like when I bring PAs on or like people to exactly no, stuff, I feel like, the same way. Yeah, yeah. If like someone's like, oh, they're down to come out, but they're just half ass. Like yeah, like or they don't really seem like they like are down to put in the work. Like I'm not gonna really. No, Care it's it's not fun having the, it's not very good energy <laughs> on set and yeah. especially if like someone puts in that work like let's say they come help out for free. Yeah. Like I'm way more likely the next time if I have that budget. Like yeah. I'm not going to hire some random kid who DMs me. I'm going to bring yeah. back the person like I know like that's Daniel gonna, like exactly yeah, he like, killed him. He fucking <laughs> like Daniel came so and help hard. out on our last uh, uh we're going to get to it later our horror short film contest and he came and helped out um on that shoot and like Daniel hasn't been on like set in a minute and then like he was there and like we had him like moving that uh 120d with like the spotlight and he was just like running every yeah. time and i was just like dude like we were short on time so like him yeah. running was probably sa like us, that yeah. one part like where we had the uh dancers there um yeah we, we had, had like, 15 minutes had to 15 finish the minutes. last scene yeah exactly we had to set up the last scene mm -hmm. shoot it all out and we had 15 minutes before they had to bounce and we had, we yeah. knocked it out yeah we, yeah we we literally got them out of there like 8 35 and they had to leave it like I think 835. 835. Yeah, 835. Yeah, it was right on the dot. And like yeah. we got two performances in. It was solid. So if Daniel wasn't like hustling yeah. the way he would have, we exactly. probably would have got them out at like 845, 9 o'clock. Yeah. You know, so that's definitely appreciated. And it's definitely noted. And like most people will remember that. Some people I think are assholes and don't care. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, yeah, it happens. Maybe. But if your hard yeah. work does pay off and people do notice it. Yeah. And yeah. So that's pretty cool. So been working hard let's go back let's go back to april when we started cinepax so yeah. we had this idea for a minute we wanted to start a what would you call it an digital product service and sure. yeah. we wanted to start it but we had no ideas for names i think that was like our first struggle like i, I had some products in mind like we had plenty yeah. of products i had i had my luck pack like made <laughs> like like probably yeah. like a half year before we even like started this thing um and i wanted to do that i knew i wanted to do the paper effects i was like this is gonna be lit like i know it and i wanted to like um 
I don't know. It was just one of the first ones that I knew that I wanted to do. But yeah, so I, we eventually came up with the name Cinepax and we dropped that, uh, the first, what's it called? The first few packs. And it did pretty well. I think the pack that kind of like blew everything up was Glow Effects was pretty cool. Glow Effects is, it's to our day, to this day, our most popular pack. Yeah. yeah. And I think the, why do you think it's so popular? I think it's I think it's like trends. I feel like that so glow effects and paper transitions is still are those those are like early on yeah. packs, but those are still our most popular. Um, and I feel like it's because like was that Lone Wolf or whatever yeah, he Lone started Wolf. the whole like paper transition yeah. stuff. And I feel like people saw those videos, and obviously they want to like try to get some of emulate like, yeah. emulated or like get yeah kind of get that style in their videos. So that and also the bottom media stuff, a lot of people are just, yeah, um, they exactly. see that online. So I feel like that just makes yeah. people want to try that sub- stuff and themselves. One thing I don't like that people like say about like Cinepax or just like presets in general is like people will think like, oh, this is killing that person's style. Oh, this is like a ripoff, which if you use it in the wrong way, it can be that. Yeah. But I also feel <laughs> like if you're being creative with it and you're using it for a reason, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I feel like, and you make it your own. Like, our I, one thing I like about our effects is we include, like, lots of things like sound effects and things like that. So you can kind of, like, really make it your own. But then also, like, what we do is you can actually, like, customize them. We include, like, LUTs in some of our earlier packs. Like, give things, like, a different look. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't know. I just feel like, in a sense, that is true if mm-hmm. you're, like, doing it very deliberately and, like, making it, like spot on but if you're also like creative with it and like you yeah. have like i don't know just like implement it in different ways like i don't know i think that's like what i like about our packs is like that's one thing that i don't know i feel like we've tried to create with them is like something where you can turn it into something else like you yeah. have all these tools yeah. i don't know if you oh, want to elaborate on that um no i completely agree i mean totally uh, i mean a lot of it is pretty like we do see other stuff online and we like we do kind of um like I guess copy some of the stuff like that we yeah. s- that we see online sometimes, but um, there's tons of people taking our effects and like making crazy yeah. crazy edits and stuff with them. Like that one guy who like took some of our overlays and and 3D tracked them in space and stuff. Yeah. Like that stuff like no one's ever seen before. You know? Yeah, exactly. So stuff like that, like. And know. even people like I've seen like do really cool things like with the uh, money effects. Like we have stills in there and people like I've seen like or like I have like these one stills that kind of shuffle money around and I've seen people like mask out people's faces and put that in there. Yeah. You know, like just really cool stuff. And like I feel like you really just got to get creative with it. Mm-hmm. And like I like to think of these packs like especially when I use our packs, I like to think of them as like a tool. Like I just like have these like little sets of tools and like assets that I can use. I don't like think of it as like oh i want to like recreate this effect like i just like use it to like i don't know and just mess around with it really yeah just like i think that's cool too like we can apply like so many different like effects and presets like to these like whether it's like red giant or anything in premiere you can really just like mix and match and create something new so yeah and then i don't know we also have the tutorial section on the site which is just like basically just a rundown of like how to use the effects but yeah yeah. Is there anything else you want to say about Cinepax or I don't know about starting it? <laughs> about starting it? Yeah. Um, not. I don't know. Um, what 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 did you like? What were you expecting when you first like came up with the like when we first started? I guess like were you expecting any type of results or like what were you? I wasn't hoping? expecting that many res. I don't know. Like I've I've sold some packs and digital stuff before Mm -hmm. and like it was cool i was probably expecting about the same thing but i don't know i didn't expect it to like turn into like uh what's it called um i don't know like such like a giant community even though it's like we don't have that many like crazy amount of followers i feel like it's very like we get like a lot of support Mm -hmm. which i think is really cool like only we have like 20 i think we're at like 2700 followers right now but i feel like a lot of those are like really active and they really do support us like it's not like some bot followers like these people are like really using our packs and it's crazy like how many people don't follow us and like use our packs like they don't follow us on instagram and i'll just find like they use like every one of our packs like on instagram have you ever came across an account like that or no um i don't not really i I mean i don't um i haven't really looked 
through too yeah. many. I've done those. it a few times and it's just insane. Like yeah. maybe I'll get like tagged in something eventually. Like we got used to like, I think it's really cool too. Like one thing that we also try and do is like include these free packs. Like mm-hmm. that's one of my favorite things that we do yeah. is because like what I want to do with that is like when I had that idea, so like, I want to make it so like people don't feel left out. You know what I mean? Cause like, I remember as a kid, like, oh, dude, I don't have like $35. Like I'd be asking for my mom's credit card and stuff. Yeah. So like, and so many kids edit now. So I think it's cool that you can just type in your email, download this and then play around with it. You know what I mean? And then maybe eventually when you do make money doing like freelance video or something, you can buy the pack. But um, yeah. I feel like most of the people that are using our packs are the, the free people. Mm-hmm. And it's, it's kind of crazy because you still see a lot of content coming out from just yeah. the free packs. Like, and you can tell cause then they only use a certain, yeah, like, but sometimes like, they still even make it work and like, no, yeah, kill it. No, like sure. that Zaza video that yeah. like, they, it's yeah. at like 3 million now. And yeah. Like, it's it has the all the same, yeah, the, all yeah. the same like assets over and over, but yeah, it works. It definitely does yeah. work. So yeah, I don't know. I, I do like enjoy, I enjoy like creating the free packs and we actually just dropped a full free pack. We'll get into that. <laughs> the scary sound effects. We're actually hosting a contest currently. This is probably dropped probably a week from now or a little less than that. So we have the contest currently running. We recorded some sound effects live and then shout out combat. He produced a bunch of them for us and like, play piano and made a bunch of stuff but we created some pretty dope sound effects you want to talk about those yeah the sound effects are really really cool like honestly i feel like it's better than our first sound effects pack (laughs) which is a paid pack and this one's free um but it's yeah it's perfect for like horror stuff if you're into like making short films or like thriller stuff like mystery like any type of like dark genre type stuff it's like perfect for that um, but I, I feel it like you can even work in like action or something, even yeah. like little music no, video sure. cut scenes. There's yeah. tons of like you can good totally little, use them in music videos as well. Yeah, there's tons of good little moments in there, like that you can actually just chop in. Um, yeah, my favorite stuff is the is the actual is like it just kind of it was an accident kind of. Yeah, we were, we we're filming the short film for yeah. it, like the the piano. We found this old piano that was just like rusting and like mm-hmm. the st- strings are still attached. And it was just a piece of a piano. Yeah, and uh your cousin just decided to swipe the knife across it and we were just like, oh, we got to record that. Right. And those are, those are honestly my favorite yeah. shout sounds. Out, shout out Dylan. <laughs> uh, if he wasn't so crazy with that knife, we would... We he almost this, killed me. Yeah, he almost, he almost, he almost stabbed, stabbed Andy in the face. In the face. Um, yeah, so if you do the... We're going to get in the short film contest, but don't stab anyone in the face. Um, Making it. <laughs> yeah, but yeah. So there's some really cool sound effects in there. You can download them. Um, so the contest, we'll break down the contest a little bit for you guys. You have to create a one minute, under one it, it one yeah explain. one minute or less. Uh, you have to use the sound effects, the scary sound effects yeah. pack, uh, which is free. You just download it, and then also you have to incorporate a knife or use the word knife. Yeah, so someone yeah. could say knife. Like it could be as simple as like you can use a prop knife. It could be a real knife. It could be a corny like cheesy knife. Um, it could really be anything. It could be a butter knife. It like could be butter. a butter knife. Yeah, exactly. Uh, you can get super creative with it. It could just be in the background. Like I, like someone could even be like, you could even just show a shot of like someone grabbing a fork and a knife's right there. Like we just need to know that you had a knife somewhere in there. So we know that you didn't just use like an old film or something like yeah. that. Um, you still could have a short horror short film under a minute with a knife in it already. And, you know, we would never know that you didn't shoot it. <laughs> just have but, to recut it with their sound. Yeah. So make sure you use the sound effects. And our prizes are pretty cool. Um, first place prize, $300. You get 10 free Cinepacks of your choice, which is like a $400 value. And then shout out Glide Gear. Uh, they sent us this cool vest. Um, it's like a support rig. It comes with the arm. And you can either use that, like the cool thing about that is you can actually use it for gimbals and you can actually, if you have like a glide cam, they have their own version of like a glide cam as well that you can use on it. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, it's pretty cool. Like you can definitely support like heavier cameras. Like if you have like a heavy gimbal, like the Ronin, uh, we're talking like the Ronin S. Yeah. Yeah. So it's pretty cool. And then we're also sending out like t-shirts and whatnot. Second place prize, um, $150, $150. In Cinepacks, Cinepacks yeah. t-shirt, and then third place is $50, three Cinepacks, and a t-shirt and stickers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But yeah, we just want to create this contest so we can see like what you guys create because we haven't done a contest. We have plenty of contests planned in the future, but we have this free pack, so we 
figured why not because you can create like a lot of cool things with it so i figured it'd be cool to just give it out there for free give you guys some prizes and it's only a minute long it only has to be a minute long mm -hmm. it could be 30 seconds it could be 35 we're really just looking for like what are we looking for uh for the winners of this contest like what are we going to be judging on um i feel like just like creativity like uh how well you use the the sound effects pack yeah i think that like that would be um one of the main deciding factors as well yeah. as like how creative you use the the prop yeah exactly uh, if you can incorporate that in a really creative way that'd be like that's always interesting um and then i also said just like jump scare factor sure there's a, there's a fire yeah. jump scare and andy gets scared <laughs> it's um, hard that, that's hard hard I've, to scare andy it's hard to scare me i, right. I watch so many like horror films yeah. and like stuff like that so um for sure damn yeah i was thinking yeah. about uh us because they hold scissors not knives scissors yeah yeah, yeah. doesn't matter i don't know recreate doesn't us with knives <laughs> but yeah so yeah we're excited to see that you can submit through the website we're gonna have like a link we're gonna have uh what are we gonna have like a contact form yeah so um there should be a w there should be a page on our website uh um that has all the information on cool. it and uh yeah, yeah you just uh deadline is the 29th or the 28th i thought it was the 30th <laughs> oh it's the 30th all right it's the 30th 30th and then we're gonna announce oh is it gonna be the 29th we could do the 29th why so we have a day so we have like a, a buffer yeah kinda, we'll do the yeah. 29th and then we'll watch them and if we need to contact someone or figure something out mm -hmm. and then we'll announce the winner on Halloween, we'll post it on, I guess we'll probably repost it on my YouTube channel if you want. Sure. And we'll repost you on the socials, all that. You'll get the winners. Maybe I'll probably make a video and I'll show all three short films because they're yeah. so short, you know? No, for sure. So yeah, yeah sure. that's another plus. Um, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited to see how it goes. And then, because I would like to do a contest for the new pack too, Glow Effects. Okay. <laughs> Glow Effects too. Like that yeah. pack, that contest could be huge. Yeah. I true. mean, we're already talking about it true, on the podcast. True. So we're that's what we were working on before the horror short was we we're working on a promo for Glow Effects 2. Yeah. It should be almost ready to be out by the time this podcast. It's probably like a week by the time this podcast is out. Yeah. Hopefully. Um, we hired an animator. Mm -hmm. Shout out Josh. Yeah. He's making Glow Effects 2. It's going crazy. So we shot, uh, we hired, you want to talk about that shoot? Um, yeah, we hired the Turf Fiends. Um, um yeah and we had them dance and stuff <laughs> like <laughs> sick yeah <laughs> best description ever but yeah so we had them come out um they were originally in the g easy west coast video mm -hmm. with our first glow effects i wanted to do this but yeah we we're just so early in cinepax like we couldn't afford to do it and we we're just like i don't know we just yeah i don't know we That's just want to drop the pack so this time around we definitely want to take it to the next level because we want these with glow effects. We really want to make it like super easy for people to get like those animation looks without having to spend hours animating frame by frame, because literally animating one frame of that or one second of that footage, you have to draw it like 24 times, you yeah. know? Yeah. So nobody wants to do that. You just drag them on screen and you could do a little bit of motion tracking and you're all set. Yeah. But I think the cool thing about this, uh, the new glow effects is like, these animations aren't like simple like tracing around no. body parts and stuff like these are legit like carts like because the guy the guy we hired josh who's my actually my roommate he's like he's a cartoon animator like yeah. he draws he like animates the craziest like things mm -hmm. like these are like legit like this is stuff you can't animate yourself yeah you know? exactly so You'd that's to... like next level glow effects like you probably haven't even seen any of this stuff before yeah in um in a lot of those glow videos that yeah use stuff and like we have that. definitely more packs on the way with him so mm -hmm. we're excited to bring those yeah um so yeah be on the lookout for glow effects too um i'm excited for that yeah that yeah let's get sick. into some of these questions we got tons of questions i feel like we just go off those yeah let's see that's a pretty good one uh jb visuals official page says how you find clients me yeah <laughs> um clients damn i'm having trouble with that actually i'm trying to find more clients right now yeah. because it's actually kind of slow um in my like i get hired to do like dp work where i just shoot yeah most of the time um but since i've been in la i've just been getting hired to do like lighting mainly but like producing my own videos like that's been kind of slow so 
I'm trying to figure that out as well. Before, it was mainly through word of mouth. Like, I'd shoot a couple of videos. They would tell their friends and artist friends that they had. And it was just, it would just come. Like, it was kind of natural. Yeah. Um, but now that I'm in a new city, it's kind of, it's kind of like I have to start over. So, I'm trying to figure that out at the gotcha. moment. I'm not really sure. What's the scene like? Because is that what you want to stick to? You don't, do you want to go to like rap videos or do you want to stick to like the band videos that you kind of were doing up here? Um, it seems like the band video, like I, I, I love that genre of music and I love the people. Like, I feel like they have less of an ego, I guess sometimes. Gotcha. Yeah, yeah. Um, and they're always like super chill, super easy to work with and let you kind of have a lot of creative freedom and stuff. So yeah. I really like working on like metal bands and rock bands and stuff like that, mm -hmm. like music videos for those guys. Um, so I'd love to do more stuff like that, but as well as I feel like the, rap videos have bigger budgets sometimes if they're mm. signed or they have um like a label backing them up like their la those labels i feel like well rap music is more mainstream i guess yeah now um the labels backing them are down to throw in more money i guess gotcha so like a lot of the videos that i've been working on in la they have like crazy budgets and i'm like shit like yeah. i wouldn't even get close to that even if i had a signed rock band like they wouldn't mm. unless they're like like huge, 30 yeah. seconds of Mars or something, you know, unless they're yeah, huge, exactly. like they're still like their high budget videos, I feel like are still low budget for the, mm. for these mainstream rap videos. Yeah. I think it's just where rap is, but it's kind of funny because like at the lower level, like the more amateur, like, yeah. um, I feel like rock videos, you can almost get a higher budget because no, like for a, sure. a rapper okay. by himself, he's yeah, like, that's true. That's I can throw true. out 800 on a good day. You know yeah. what I mean? Whereas like a band, like. Let's how many people are in a band? Like four or five. Four know. or five. And they, they all put together in. 500. True. You're at 2,500. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's, I think that's a different like level though. So like once you're in, if you're in like the unsigned indie artist level, mm -hmm. like that's definitely true. Like a, an, like a rapper just starting out, he's not going to be down to throw in like one or two grand for his yeah, own exactly. video. If he's just like, you know, barely getting started while a band, they could easily each throw in 200 bucks and like. Or like whatever, like mm -hmm. and uh, get something. Even like when that. like with the rappers, it's hard to get like them to throw in money on features. Like when they have a feature, like yeah. even the features, like mm, like this is your video, man. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. So I can kind of see that. So that's an interesting look on it, though. It's, yeah. I never thought about that because rap is kind of like at an all time high right now, especially yeah. just all these like just different categories of like hip hop we have like right now, you know, like, mm. I don't know. There's like the more melodic stuff that I don't know. There's just so many like genres and like right now, like all the SoundCloud stuff. It's, yeah. it's crazy. So yeah, yeah, that's true. Cool. Um, Daniel Delano says a few years ago, did you ever expect to be where you are at now? I don't even know. I try not to have too much expectations, you know, cause I don't yeah. want to be disappointed. So I, I try not to like really, expect much mm -hmm. um but yeah i don't know i mean that's that's no i don't think so yeah like i yeah no i yeah i i definitely did not expect to be even with like cinepax i didn't expect to be like doing cinepax this much cinepax actually like yeah for me like it was i ex i was i just thought it'd be a cool little like little thing we did on the side but yeah like, i don't know i feel like it's more like i don't know we do it quite a bit like and it's yeah. fun i don't know i like doing it I feel like I didn't really have expectations for it, but I was really trying to push it. And it's kind of funny because like, I feel like if anything, I would have thought that we would have like more followers and like, like build, build up the, like kind of like the brand more mm -hmm. and uh, be just like making a little bit of money here and there, you know, like yeah. from it and stuff. But like, it's kind of like the opposite, like where we have very few, like, under 3000 followers yeah. at least on instagram like we have we have yeah. few fo fewer followers than i would think that we would have had like pushing so hard on it mm -hmm. but all these followers support us so much that it's like yeah. we're making way more like like we're selling way more products than we i th ever thought we yeah. would so early I, on i think it also goes into i want to talk a little bit about like some of our marketing strategies and like stuff that we do mm -hmm. that like i think has helped cinepax get off the ground yeah. because one of the biggest things that i think has helped us is like early on like the youtube channel like my youtube that's, support that's exactly that's, which yeah that's where is like all because <laughs> what what's it called like where i think a lot of it's came from is like the fact that we do tutorials with every product, like people put these products out all the time 
and they don't like go through and like show you how to use them properly. Mm -hmm. And like, that's one thing we've been running to is like with final cut. A lot of people want these final cut tutorials and I don't edit on final cut. We need yeah. to find some, if you, if you edit on final cut and you got a YouTube channel, or if you just edit on final cut and you're down to do some tutorials, hit us up on Instagram at Cinepax, let us know, send us some of your work. Yeah. But we have a few of them out there. Like we mm -hmm. hired someone to do some of them. And I think the tutorials are really helpful. And I think just like the where YouTube's at, I think people are already on their computers editing and they're looking stuff up. So when they see like, oh, this is a pack, this is really useful. Um, I would like to purchase this because I'm already editing. You know what I mean? Like yeah. this looks sick. Um, so yeah, I definitely did not... Ex expect to see Cinepax at this or even like my YouTube channel. Like when I started my, I obviously like I never like, I didn't expect to be like 50,000 or a hundred thousand, you know, yeah. but I never expected to like have like, even just like a year ago, like expect to have like a few, I have a few videos that are like a hundred thousand on my channel. You know what I mean? Yeah. I never expected to have that kind of stuff, but yeah. Also Daniel Delano, I don't know how to say his last name. Uh, he says, side note, Andy, thanks for giving me the opportunity to work for you. I've learned a lot. Y'all can sick. say anything? <laughs> Damn. <laughs> no, Daniel's, Daniel's sick. Cool. Archie, uh, or I, I don't know how to say it. I'm just going to, he knows who he is. He's the guy who did the uh, tracking pain effects. Oh, okay. Sick. Challenging thing about running an e-commerce store when it comes to digital products. I mean, we have, yeah, I think there's a, there's actually a lot of issues though. Um, there's like people who have problems downloading our stuff for some yeah. reason. I think they're either their internet connection or is maybe it's our platform that we're yeah. using like sometimes people download their files and they're like corrupted or like yeah. they can't open it so we have a lot of issues with that i don't really know if i think it's fix hard it. because people get like whereas like if you ordered a pair of shoes offline they yeah. come in oh they don't fit i'm gonna return them with yeah. ours it's like i'm trying to edit this right now i need help so yeah. there's times like where like I don't know, like I get like some crazy email and I'm like, oh, this is super messed up. They bought like five packs and I got to yeah. fix this. So I'm like on my phone, like trying to copy and paste all these links and fix yeah. it. It's just crazy. So that's one of the hardest things I think is just keeping, keeping up, up with, like, with, that. with, gotta, the, ma yeah. with the maintenance and whatnot. We need to trying... hire someone <laughs> once, we, once we get, yeah. you know, yeah. <laughs> once we get to that level, just hire exactly. someone just to, just to handle yeah. all the back I mean, we don't stuff. get that many though, but it yeah. some days it, it can be pretty bad. Like one day... Um, and I dropped a video on like a free pack, the title card effects mm -hmm. and our site went down Yeah, and like, everyone's like, Oh, I can't email it. And then yeah. like, we had people buying packs and we had people getting like free packs and they just kept putting in the free packs to make the site crash even more. It was yeah. horrible. Yeah. Yeah. So I had to take down the free pack. Um, yeah. Shawnee Tsunami wants to know. So shout out Archie, check out his edits, uh, with the Cinepacks. He's fire. Mm -hmm. Uh, Shawnee Tsunami. Wants to know what are your top three favorite movies you watched in the last five years? Oh, that's funny because uh, Boss sent the same same question. Oh, really? Damn. <laughs> um, top three. I actually I thought about it because since Boss sent that, and I was like, I look through. I have this app called Letterboxd, where like I keep track of all the movies I watch and mm -hmm. I like rate them and stuff. Um, I'm just gonna put the last year because I have so many movies that I love. Wow. Um. But in my list, I would say th of the last year, my favorites would be. I really like the that Quint Quint Tarantino one. That you just like came that out. movie? I liked it. I, a lot of people like had. I feel like it. It, I feel like it could have been like an hour shorter. I I really <laughs> liked it because, but I also I feel like it was because I just finished watching Mindhunter, and also I, I, I watched Mindhunter. Too. And yeah, and they were, they had that whole section with. Uh, Ch charles manson oh yeah, yeah and then okay. i also listened to like a shit ton of like uh true crime podcasts and stuff so i i was really familiar with that whole story yeah so, so you when, were super into it so i was super into it and i thought it was gonna go a different way so when when he like when like the movie kind of ended i don't want to spoil it yeah, but like yeah, yeah. It, it, he totally took it a different direction and yeah. I, I i really thought that was like no it was cool it just like blew my mind I, I guess you know I, I, I was just super bored like yeah. honestly like <laughs> I went to the bathroom like three times no way I, I, I like that I, I don't know I I, the I, only, was good I just felt like there was like so many shots that didn't need to be in there like it was like we watched that guy like ride a horse like down a like a hill and like it was so drawn out I was like this could have been cut <laughs> so much shorter like like yeah that's interesting because like, yeah, the time period heard... and everything was like really cool like all the sets like all yeah. that stuff was sick like it was, I don't know. It was really cool, like, just to see, like, everything, like, how it was done and whatnot. Yeah. But, like, I just felt like... 
<laughs> Could have been a little short. I don't know. I, I I personally liked it a lot. It was cool though. Like the the don't get me wrong. Like the last thirty minutes was like amazing. Last thirty minutes was it, fucking. It's, it's awesome. I just wish that would have happened a little earlier or something else. Um, um, Susie made it. Uh, wants to know. I didn't even finish oh wait. The oh three. yeah. My bad. My bad. <laughs> I was gonna ask you too. Like what uh, your three was after. Oh shit. I don't but know, man. um, what what else do I have on here? I had um, last black man in SF. I really like that one. I didn't you see, see that, that one yet. yet. No, uh, that one was really good. Just I especially felt like it was. Um, like I personally connected with it because I was born and raised in San Francisco, so I, that I cool. definitely would recommend that one. And the third one from this year, I'd say, is Us. Just speak not not because it's a great movie or anything. Yeah. Like Get Out was such a better movie. Okay. Um, I but I still liked Us, but mainly because it's sentimental value because I worked on it. it was like my first like big Hollywood yeah, movie yeah. to work on. That's cool. But, yeah. What are your three favorites? I don't have. I feel that. like you need to answer these questions too. Like, <sighs> I'm trying to think because I don't. I don't know. At least like the the past year the or past two. Past year, I can't yeah. even think. <laughs> can't even think. <laughs> that's that's a hard question. Though, I know answer. it's a hard question. Every time someone asks, I'm like, uh, I can't even remember. I don't have some fancy app. Like it's a you nice do. app. You should keep. You yeah, should. I should keep that app. Just so when Whenever people ask me that, <laughs> I'm trying to think. What what's came out? Um, I'm about to Google. Like I'll look in this last year. What I've seen. Literally, there's you could. There hasn't been that many good movies this year. This past year hasn't. I mean, there's a bunch of movies that I need to watch that people say are really good, but mm -hmm. I haven't seen too many amazing ones this year. I didn't. I haven't seen that. Did you like last uh, year? Did you like really Shazam? I haven't seen it. That was another. That's one I want to watch. Yeah. Just because I love that director and he came from YouTube and stuff. Like, oh, okay. He was a YouTuber. I didn't know that. And he like made a fucking like sick ass short that yeah. blew up and then now he's directing mainstream movies oh, okay that's yeah. tight yeah so it was, like a, it was a cool movie though it's like a cool twist the ending's yeah. a little corny but it's cool all yeah. right i'm skipping that question okay <laughs> <laughs> uh Susie made it uh what are your favorite lights to use favorite lights to use yeah um the aperture 300 mark ii is pretty dope yeah i've been really digging that one um just because it's how bright it is yeah and how easy it is to like you could run it on battery yeah that's um, sick can it run off one or two it can run off one which is fucking but not dope. that long huh um it has to be under a certain percentage like i can't be more than like 75 oh. percent or something like you can't run at 100 it's still hella bright one. but it's still yeah it's still crazy bright um and the stairs are pretty dope because they're I battery like the powered. Stairs. yeah i've been thinking about getting a <laughs> getting a used set for like It'd fill up like your whole car <laughs> i know but they're heavy as like they're the, so they're heavy, so I heavy. Don't carry like that those. case yeah that case is a I bitch don't and i have to like those. carry it up uh, up my stairs to my apartment like that sounds miserable That's, but yeah but it seems but yeah a stairs are actually it is nice really like we, we were doing that set and we set up quasars like we had to wire like we yeah. wired like two or three quasars and it was a lot of work and then hatch pulls up to the shoot he's like oh i brought those stairs and i was like we ripped out yeah. the quasars and just threw like five but of stairs not, back not there. Not even that, like, like the quasars, we were trying to do a flickering effect. So you oh, like yeah. wired, <laughs> rewired them into like this like janky little like power strip. Yeah. Just pressing the power strip on and off. Yeah. But that would only turn them on and off and had a weird, because of how long the power cable yeah, was. Yeah, it was weird. It had a delay in the actual like the yeah. signal and stuff. So no, it was weird. But the stairs are immediately like press the yeah. button on the app and they're off. They were all, all random effects. and like flickering. It's so sick. Like, yeah. So the stairs, I definitely. I don't know. I think it's so sick that they're battery powered. It's insane. Yeah. Like you, you can literally go to like the anywhere you want. forest and like throw eight lights and have them all colored. Like you know that's what insane. needs to be done with those though? Like I feel like the next step for them is putting magnets on them. So you can just literally mm. just rig them up without. Yeah, that'd be sick. You know, because like the, the quasars that you have. Yeah. Like those you could just, th that was so useful having those as well. Yeah. On that shoot, yeah. Where we could just kind of just m put them on a wall or a ceiling yeah. just by using the We magnets. shot that whole, um, that whole little skit. I think we only used like two lights. We used the Aperture 120D with the spotlight mount. Mm -hmm. um, and then we just used the little three set of uh, quasars. I have a video on them on my YouTube. Yeah. But yeah, those were cool just because, yeah, they're magnetic. You can handhold them. Yeah. I don't know. They just look really good. But yeah, I feel like they need to be a little bit brighter too. The quasars? The no, the stairs. The quasars. The, stairs? Are... Oh, the new ti the Titans, which is double the price, $8,000 okay, yeah. yeah. for a set of them. Like those are brighter. Yeah. So um, I guess they'd be more on like par with like the brightness of a quasar. No, Probably I, I feel like it's not there yet. Not there because yet. it's like using RGB LED chips or gotcha. like there's there's a different chip. For I, each. I think the quasar RGBs are pretty bright though too. Are they? I, I don't know. I haven't used I, those I just, but they're plugged in though. The rainbows I have I haven't yeah. used those before. 
So, so I don't know. I don't but yeah, so favorite lights, question short, Susie is, I guess, apertures and the Apertures stairs. and the stairs so far, like recently, those have been my main yeah. lights I've been using a lot. What about you? <laughs> yeah, no, I've been liking the apertures. I still like my 120D Mark II. Yeah, the Mark Cs are legit. I like yeah, the I definitely, I definitely want the 300D Mark II. Um, That's six yeah, stairs too. I love the stairs. I just love that like, I don't know. And I like one thing I like doing it with them, like let's say I don't have hella lights, is like I have a few in the background as practicals, but like mm-hmm. even keying like my subject for like cool effects, like like even like I had like two before and I had them like one was like a certain color, like a tungsten, and another one was like a daylight or something, and like I have one constant and the other one's like pulsing or something like that, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like you could just like light a subject in so many cool ways. You could light ways. an entire scene with just the stairs. Exactly. Like, you really don't need much else yeah and it's just i don't know i feel like you could do like so many cool effects too like that like you know like fire police slides all these different things with them i just think it's so cool yeah uh my girlfriend asked multiple questions um what was the final push to start cinepax hmm i don't know i yeah, remember one that? day we we literally spent a whole day just coming up with names and we had horrible names like i'm trying to think of one of the bad names that we came up with i think I mean, the first pack we were going to make was one that we haven't even released yet. Oh, yeah. And that I feel like that was the push. Like, that was that like, was oh, we were push. trying to, oh, we need to. Well, we did make them in this. tandem. I was like, you and, uh, I don't even want to say his name. <laughs> you and so and so do that pack. And yeah. like, I kind of helped. And then I was like, I'm going to work on this paper effects. Yeah. And like, I was still living at my parents' house. And like, I, like, my room was just full of like newspaper. Like, yeah. it was crazy. <laughs> yeah. But uh, Cinepack goals for 2020? For 2020? Yeah. Go Shit. crazy. I have so many ideas that yeah. I want to do. Like, just I don't more know. More packs, more free packs, more tutorials. I just want to grow. I kind of just, yeah, grow just grow it, you know? Just yeah. grow the network, grow the brand, grow, like, um, even the stuff that we have, like, uh, more contests and stuff, I think would be sick. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Yeah, whatever you guys like, want as well. I kind of feel like live events. Like I want to eventually get into yeah, that. Yeah, that'd be cool. I don't know. I've always liked putting on. Um, I used to like kind of throw events and stuff for like like music events and stuff, mm-hmm. uh, and like parties and stuff. So like I feel like that's always fun to kind of organize. Yeah, it would be cool. Yeah, I feel like that'd be sick to do get into that eventually. It'd be tight. like Cinepax meetups, you know, like mm-hmm. different cities. That'd be crazy. Yeah. Um. I could talk about the podcast. Yeah. The podcast in 2020, I want to run the podcast more. It's just a lot of work because like, I want to, like, I feel like I wasn't doing it to its full potential. Mm -hmm. So like with a podcast, like I know there's like so much content you can create, like the right way to do it is you make the podcast. It's on all the podcast apps. It's on YouTube. So people can watch it. And then there's Instagram cutups, like where like me and you, we, kind of talk about like our favorite lights or something, you know, or you talk about like what it was like to move to LA and how you didn't have work and how you were able to do that. Like that would be its own segment. Yeah. Then on YouTube, I would cut up small little segments on YouTube that would be like, is moving to LA a good idea for filmmakers? You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that would be its own two minute video. Yeah. And then I don't know. There's just so many different little things that you can cut a podcast up into. Yeah. I just don't have time to edit all that <laughs> on top of like working on Cinepacks and That's still true. trying to shoot like music videos every now and then, you yeah. know, and also doing just other things to make money. Yeah. So it's, it's kind of tough. So I definitely want to find a podcast editor, mm-hmm. uh, someone who's down to rock with me. Um, I'm just trying to figure out like how much money I could allocate towards that because yeah. it would get expensive quick because I want to drop these like weekly, you know? Yeah. So I don't know. That's the plans for 2020. I'm trying to figure that out. I'm probably just going to spend all December trying to figure it out. I mean, do you make money off of the podcast though? I like- never made any money off the podcast. <laughs> and I did like that's 30 of them. Yeah. I don't know. I was just so, doing like, it. But that's like, everyone tough. loved it so much. You that's kind of tough like allocating money towards hiring an editor if yeah. it's not bringing you income. You know? Yeah, but it's also bringing me value and it's bringing other people value it in is. the sense of like, it, it helped grow my brand and it's also our brand basically you should give me money to do the podcast <laughs> <laughs> well um, i mean we could somehow incor- if we incorporate it into cinefax yeah you could i take mean money i basically what i was maybe. thinking exactly and i wanted to, to like have cinefax sponsor it and like i'm i maybe okay. even think about giving away a free cinepack this episode okay a little code in there so All just right. keep listening um but yeah i don't know so if you want to edit podcasts and go crazy hit me up Maybe you can find like an intern. Like, yeah, um, like, I don't know. Yeah, we definitely need to expand on that more because yeah. 
there's plenty of things we want to do. Uh, last question from Julianne is: <laughs> If you could be a, any Cinepack, what would you <laughs> what would you be? <laughs> <laughs> um oh what would you be man i'd be money effects you'd be money effects yeah. <laughs> people got mad at me for ripping like dollars that's funny i was thinking we need we need to do um this is hella off topic but money effects like i've, I've noticed foreign currency yeah foreign currency because we have yeah. people in like europe that's people true. in paris like people using our packs and yeah. those guys can't use those you know no, exactly it's and like, people like rap about like foreign currency sometimes too really? you know <laughs> like how sick would that be like we had like uh like what's the chinese chinese currency like yen is it yen i don't know yeah um Maybe. what is it uh it'd be sick like you know like the higher brothers or something like them uh, using it you know yeah yeah that'd be true. sick we should do that because i don't know there's so many different like cultures and like i don't know like hip-hop and just like music videos i feel like it's more of like a hip-hop thing but the money thing yeah oh, for but sure. i've seen it in I everything can't... i've seen it in like barber videos but i don't know Barber videos? Yeah, I've seen it in a barber okay. video. I, no, know, I haven't man. really seen them All right. much else. Besides. Shop by Spencer's got a crazy question. Ask Andy about map boxes. I got. He sent me the same question. <laughs> <laughs> what, what's the answer? What's your favorite filter? I'm just going, what's your favorite filter to use on like your... Uh, favorite filter? Yeah, on your map box. Um, honestly, like I have a bunch of weird ones because I bought like this, this photographer was... Um, he like, he was like retiring or something. So he, he posted like a box of filters, four by four filters that fit into my map box, yeah. um, for like 200 bucks. And each of these filters are like anywhere from 200 each to like 400 each. Yeah. And he gave them all to me for $200. So I just, I bought all these filters and there's some weird ones in there, like ones that no one would ever use, <laughs> but I'm like, fuck, these are, these are sick. Cause they yeah, look yeah. so different, you know? So like some of the, my favorite ones are soft effects three, which is like the highest grade of soft, like, and just blooms everything. Yeah, I think we've so messed soft. around with them. On I've used it on stuff. a few videos. Uh, the day, I mean, now, um, it was just I have a video that's just released like a couple, like two days ago. But I guess by the time this podcast released, it'd be like a week and two days ago or something like that. I don't know. Yeah. Um, where I use that filter and so we're going for like this '80s kind of okay, like yeah. old retro look. Oh, is so, it that? Uh, what's the name of it? uh Petu yeah it. That yeah. Looks sick. yeah so you use that that, that was it? a soft effect that's fire three. dude and that's like the the highest grade of soft but it looks effect. like i mean to get that effect it looks like you did a lot of like backlighting right um the backlight so we had quasars in the back lining yeah. the the floor of the stage and those fucking bloom so much yeah from that effect uh but not even just that like little stuff like sparkles in the glasses mm. from the light hitting it yeah stuff like that we had a we had a um disco ball disco ball Sick. and we signed a leak at it yeah and i want to watch that video crazy like it just looked nuts so like stuff like that i've used that i've used that filter on a few things but the first video i ever used it on was um this like commercial for this weed company mm. and they were just like and i, I just thought uh because there was kind of like going for like a dreamy look so i was like all right maybe i'll just use this i had mm -hmm. no idea how intense it was going to be and then the the owner of the company was like hey can you tone it down on that on that on that soft that like that, that blurry effect and i'm like oh shit like that, that, <laughs> that's like i saw it with that on so i was like no but i i was trying to justify i was like oh i was trying to go for this dreamy look you know yeah, yeah all this yeah. stuff's like i can't tone that down like I turned it up to sharpness a little bit, just to <laughs> kind of like, but yeah. that's funny. So I, I'm kind of scared to use it now, like on yeah. certain things, but when yeah, I can use it, it's pretty yeah. sick. Cool. Um, and for those of those, for the people who don't know, you want to break down like the difference between four by four glass <laughs> and threaded filters. Yeah. So the, uh, the main reason I use the, f the filters is you can just, you can use them on any, any um lens so like sometimes uh for you certain have, to have shoots, a matte box though correct yeah you need a matte box um i mean which is actually it gets pricier but at the same time if you have a lot of lenses yeah instead of buying one of each of these filters for each of your lenses which would add, add up you know in cost in the, anyways you just get one of these filters up for your matte box so you can swap lenses mm -hmm. so you can use these filters forever like you don't like if you upgrade your lenses in, st in the future and stuff you still be able to use these filters yeah um so that's the main 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 thing main cool pro, i, I think but then again with like um if you're like on a dslr it yeah. might be a little much to have yeah, like a matte box that's true uh you shouldn't like especially if you're doing run and gun videos you're doing run and gun but videos, you can still get like more cinematic videos by using these filters and whatnot like like a Promis one fourth mm -hmm. 
Um, is that one you would recommend? Um, yeah. So the the fourth. So it's actually I use a, an oh, eighth quarter. more. You use an eighth. Yeah. Oh yeah. Quarter is a little strong. There's huh? actually a there's actually a tr- there's a trick to it though. Like there's uh, depending on what focal length. Uh huh. Because different focal lengths react to the filters differently. Mm-hmm. So because um, you're using a smaller portion of the, like the yeah, the filter. but also it's more like you have to think about it like if you have a longer focal length, like yeah. stuff in the foreground is a lot blurrier. Mm. So the way these filters work is there's little specks, especially the black pro mist. There's little specks on it. And if you're using a longer lens, these specks are are bigger and gotcha. they're more kind of like prominent. Like um, yeah. so, if you're using wider lenses, you would use a, a stronger filter. A stronger filter. Yeah, yeah like a quarter. Yeah. Uh, as opposed to using longer lenses, you'd use the eighth. But at mm-hmm. the same time, there's there's a different there's a reverse to it. Like if you're shooting sk- close ups on people's faces and you mm. want their skin to be nicer, you would use the stronger one like on the those. quarter. Yeah. Or, so it's or weird. Or half. Yeah, so yeah, it's yeah. that's actually like if anything, you should get both of them. But if you can only afford one, yeah. I would probably go with the less intense one. Yeah, and those come in like screw on filters. But like what I, what I would recommend is like if you have a bunch of lenses I and you don't want a matte box, you could get the threaded version either in like 82 or 77. Yeah, and then just get, step, then up just get step up rings. Yeah. yeah. So you have a bunch of different lenses, but you could get step up. But be careful with step up rings because like I've seen the ones that look like those little kid toys and they go like, like they go like, I don't know. Wait, how what? To, like, <laughs> yeah, here, let me pull up a photo. What do you mean? So like I like the step up rings where it's just like 55 to 77 and it's just like one small one and it like goes big like that. Whereas like people have these step up rings and it's like almost oh, like a little and pyramid. And it's a bunch of them you're saying. Yeah. Oh, and yeah, yeah. you get problems with that because like if you Sometimes have Sometimes it gets stuck and stuff. You, it gets stuck but it's also like you can get vignetting like if you're on a because, wide enough yeah. lens because there's so much space in between yeah. there. Sometimes light shines in. I've used them before. They're not right. the best. Damn. I mean it's cool to have those in like a, in a pinch mm-hmm. but definitely I think it's good to like it's it's only like three bucks especially if you get them off ebay yeah. so just look up like a 55 to 77 and get that specific one for your um for your, your lens, lens. Yeah. yeah yeah but yeah i mean that's a cheaper way to do it um yeah so only you if you, have, yeah depending especially if you're only shooting on dslrs you're only doing running yeah. gun shoots and you try i mean to, you still use a 77 millimeter screw on nd i do because yeah, the, because to buy a full set of NDs yeah. is like at least a thousand to three thousand dollars. So I, I still have my ND. I've had that yeah. ND for like four or five years now. Last question. Uh, I'll check uh, Cinepax, but I don't think we got that many good questions. Uh, Steven Mitchell, I think that's his name. I don't know. It's abbreviated. S T V N underscore M C H L. Uh, will there be any drone stock footage on Cinepax? We we're just talking about that. Yeah, we've been talking about that. Uh, we're talking with hatch 86 films the drone god so we'll see what's up with that we're probably planning something in the future um but yeah did we get any questions on cinepax let me see we got some ran weird ones that weren't really questions we'll answer them anyways i got some questions how can i have this cinepax yeah (laughs) like what does that mean like Um, what cinepax do you want you pay for it yeah um i got some i got some questions on my oh yeah answer those too sensor also asked where do you think your style came from? I'm going to ask that to you. Where did my style come <laughs> yeah. from? Uh, I think it came from just videos I've watched. Um, and I still look at like old videos that I've done, like even like when I was a kid and I still have like implements of that, like things that I've always yeah. done. And it's just kind of weird. Like it's weird like to think like, I've never said this before, but like when I first started out, like, I mean like not really started out, but like I was just like making shit on like Windows Movie Maker. I had a PlayStation 2 iCam. Do you ever or the iToy? No. It was a it's right. a webcam that went on top of your TV and like you did stupid arm things like and okay. like it was a game. But then I found a driver on my computer that turned it into a webcam because I didn't have a webcam. Yeah. And then I started making videos with that. And then I like got into stop animation. I don't know why for like a week. Okay. And I was making stupid stuff. It's super stupid. I was <laughs> making stop. An- I was in like fifth grade. Yeah. And I was making stop animation with like marshmallows. Sick. Yeah. And then uh, it's just That's crazy to think now from. that <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy to think now that I'm like doing sob animation again yeah. for some of these Cinepax. It's yeah. just crazy. Um, but I don't know. I feel like just adapted it from like effects videos. And do you feel like it's all from like music videos that you watch or like do you feel like you got um, sometimes films, by... but I don't know. I feel like it's just like more subconscious. Like, I, it's yeah, it's like, like stuff you don't really think about. It's yeah. Just kinda... And like sometimes like you even have an idea and then like, 
way later down the road, like, oh, maybe that's why I felt like doing that. You know, what yeah. I, mean? I don't know. I feel like, yeah, probably the same thing for me. You can't do like, that. Like, you don't really think about <laughs> You don't really think about it, but like answer. it's like stuff you watch no, that know. you really like, you know, and yeah. then like subconsciously, or even it not gets even kind stuff of... you like watch, or you just other things you consume, like mm -hmm. I don't know, like yeah. things that you like. I don't know, music, stuff like that. I don't know. Yeah. Come from ev everywhere. For sure. Um, is there anything else? Spend you have any other? Um, uh, my buddy Corey asked, "What's next for Cinepax? What's next? Um, Glow Effects Two. Glow Effects Two. And. <laughs> We're getting a yacht. No, I'm just kidding. Okay, yeah. Um, Cinepax yacht. Everybody's what's invited. the name of the discount code? I'm going to make it right now. How many free packs should we give? What? Just one? We're giving away one free pack. One free pack for what? If the first person to use this code. Oh, the very first person to use yeah, this code. Yeah, they get a free After, pack. So the first person to listen to this podcast gets a free pack. Is yeah, that what you're saying? If they listen to it all the way through or they skip to the end. Just one person? We should give at least like... Three? Yeah. We'll first, make the code first, used three times. First three people. Uh, I no, love I Cinepax. I love Cinepax? Yeah, I love Cinepax. I'm making it right now. All right. And you're going to get 100% or how much do they get? They'll get $35 off so they could buy yeah. one Cinepack. 100% they could like literally buy the buy entire everything. store. <laughs> you get one Cinepack, um, one use per person. So code can be used three times. So if you missed it, you're out of luck. But I think Live 10 is still active. I feel live like there's 10? What yeah, is that? That's $10 off. No one I don't think everyone used it for my live stream. Oh, so shit. if no, you listen to that this, shit down. No. no, if you got if you guys don't get the first 3 ones, you get $10 off. Still should be up there, but yeah, appreciate you guys listening. Um, more packs coming in the future. Want to do the podcast next year and promote Cinepack, so let me know if you guys are interested in editing and turning. Let us know. I'll probably create like a sheet later on and like ask all this stuff. I just got to figure it out. Yeah. But yeah. Cool, cool. Anything else? Let us know what Cinepacks you guys want to see. Um, yeah. Yeah. Enter Let's the see. contest. It's going to be lit. Yeah. Enter this contest. Shout Anything out else? to Glide Gear. Shout out Glide Gear. Yeah. Glide Gear sick. <laughs> they got all sorts of cool stuff on there too. Like what else they got? Um, I use their overhead rig for a lot of Cinepacks, Cinepacks we make. Yeah. Um, what else have they sent me in the past? Oh, I use their snorri cam. That's where I got their snorri cam. That's always fun. I see tons of people use it now. Yeah. Yeah. Their specific one? Yeah, or just I've, I've seen a lot cams. of people there. Yeah, I think they're one of the only ones that sell it online. Really? Um, Damn, Cinefax should make one too. <laughs> Cinefax, that's funny. <laughs> Cinefax snorri cam. But yeah. Maybe start making physical products. Huh? Physical maybe, products? Maybe I know, we want to. Things. Yeah, I know. But um, yeah, all right. Thanks Sorry. for listening, guys. I don't know when Wolf Talk's coming back. <laughs> but Every yeah. week. Every, no, no, no <laughs> don't say that. Andy's going to be editing. Catch you guys next time. Thanks. See ya.